All right, friends, we are now ready to do the concrete pour. So let's do a walk around and take a look at some of the details that we have here. Right here, we have a two inch air vent. Here we have two three inch air out ports. They go right down into the root cellar. Same for the two inch, it goes down to the root cellar. Here we have the door buck. And here we have the electrical. I made a plywood pattern to roughly hold all the conduits and the pattern it needs to be to get up into the greenhouse. Here the gray PVC is going to be the main water coming in and there'll be a splitter to split it off into the PVC and that has a half inch red PEX and that makes its way over water in for a rinsing sink and an inch and a half water drain line pipe. And then the one blue PVC spare down below, it gives the option if you want to put water down into the root cellar. So that's what that one's for. If we want to heat things up with the wood boiler, we have hot water coming in from the wood boiler. And then we can also take that hot water and we could run that back out in, in for a future option if we want uh, to heat a jacuzzi. And inside here, so we have three PEC circuits here. We have an ice melt system for the stairwell and then one for the floor of the root cellar and one is for the greenhouse concrete slab. Uh, hot water supply, hot water return. Looking good. is the time to wash off any concrete drippings while the concrete is still wet. This is too easy to do today, 
and makes the ICF styrofoam clean for the protective coating that will be applied tomorrow. All right, friends, that's it for the concrete pour. We did 2.4 cubic yards and a six inch wide ICF formed wall and everything went just as planned. Uh, nothing came loose. Everything is uh, firm and solid. We went with a 4,000 pound mix. We went with round rock, uh, one inch minus. And uh, we started out with about a six inch slump, but we ended up going to about a seven inch slump and everything flowed very nice to where I, I didn't have to use the vibrator, so I'm well pleased. But anyhow, it all went well. Look how straight that wall is. That is straight. Notice the black Sharpie marks on the ICF showing anchor bolt locations. My project calls for the typical spacing of the anchor bolts. Anchor spacing is based on sill plate lumber. Anchor locations is to be within 12 inches from the end of the sill plate lumber. And anchor bolt spacing is to be no further than six feet apart. Anchor bolt depth should be a minimum of seven inches and no closer than one and three quarter inches from the edge of concrete. All right, friends, it's a new day and it's time to take out all this inside bracing and get it out of here. So let's get started. All right, friends, now it's time to get this door buck out of here. I did not use the vibrator on this. Uh, we end up using a seven inch slump and the weather was very cold, so it flowed very nice. So what I'm concerned now do I have any honeycomb effect on the inside here? Because I didn't vibrate it. Let's get rid of that door buck and take a look. All right. I'm kind of wishing I would have used a vibrator, but uh, it was flowing so well, I forgot all about the, the corners. Corners are always notorious for honeycombing if you don't vibrate them. Now that's at a six inch slump. This was poured at a seven inch slump. So let's see what we got. Woo, it's beautiful. Filled up all the corners. Oh my, that pink styrofoam gives it a nice finish too. Let's check this side. Beautiful. So there you have it, a seven inch slump. It flows really good and it gets all the way down into the corners. And corners are notorious for honeycombing, but as you can see, all my corners are filled up really nice. So that's your six inch stem wall, 30 inches tall. And I'm well pleased, very nice. Here I'm beginning the cleanup of the spray foam. As you can see, I'm using a putty knife to cut the excessive spray foam away from the concrete. At this point, the blue tape makes easy and quick work. That looks nice and clean along the seams. All right, friends, now that we have finished pouring the six inch ICF stem wall for our greenhouse, it's time to protect our investment. So I eventually want to put cultured stone on the exterior and maybe some kind of uh, rustic plywood on the inside, but that may be a year before I get around to it. Protect the styrofoam from ultraviolet light damage. I'm gonna be using this product called Tough 2. It's a concrete coating specifically designed for styrofoam ICFs. It is a acrylic base and it goes on gummy and sticky and it sticks to the styrofoam very well. I've used it on the stairwell area and I'm well pleased how that turned out. So let's get started.
Notice I'm overlapping onto the peel and stick waterproofing membrane. All of this will be buried underground when the project is finished, giving a nice clean look. Force it right down to that seam. Look at that. Seals it up nice. By forcing the coating down into the seam, this seals the seam completely, giving a nice clean look where the ICF meets the concrete floor. And put a quick scratch coat on. All right, friends, I'm just finishing up putting the protective coating on the ICFs. And it's a good thing because the sun's getting high in the sky and it does recommend not to apply this in direct sunlight. It sets up real quick when the sun hits it. So that's it for today. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.